hello everyone my name is ishmael and and welcome to today's video and as we start today's video let's start it with a testimony someone was like ever since i started watching these videos i met my my potentials uh potential spouse kingdom spouse and is was willing to go all through is willing to go all through the processes necessary for marriage as well as to to conclude this testimony like i'm like i'm currently 50 years of age so yes uh, it's amazing that things are working out like uh someone has uh, another testimony i think this is also amazing it doesn't matter the age you might feel like you're like it things delayed it took time but with God, it is never too late. Okay. Uh, I, I saw this other testimony that's been going around of this uh, lady. She's a minister. I think she got married at 60. So uh, when it comes to these things, God is able to answer and you'll be happy. Even at that age, you might think that no, it might not be worth it if I am at this age. But I tell you, each and every age, you will still feel that need. That's why even people who are old, they still do things or they still cheat because they want to find love and all those things okay so what a wonderful testimony god is able never limit yourself okay so now starting with today's video do not let the packaging of your spouse confuse you do not let it do so what am i talking about there's a lot of confusions that goes on when you meet your spouse that is how many people they miss out when your spouse shows up or your soulmate or your future spouse okay so this uh this lady she once shared as a story or a testimony that uh one time it was a birthday when she was still young and then her parents she was expecting to get a cell phone okay she was expecting that they're gonna give her they bought her go get a cell phone so in that uh package they brought some uh cakes i think they were romance piece a uh, romance biscuits or something like that is it romance or what but they were biscuits and they were like this is what we have for you as a birthday present and so she was disappointed to a point where like ah she didn't even see the need to open up that box until uh, her mother was like ain't you gonna open the box and see these biscuits and then she, ah, she just opened just because she found it to open but surprisingly inside the box there was a cell phone that she's been expecting and been looking for inside that box there were those cakes and that cell phone so with that i'm trying to make it uh clear to you and make you realize that at some point in life you as christians you get to miss out on what god has in store for you sometimes you look at somebody uh, that you feel kind of interested but you are not so sure and then that's how many even christians miss out on their soulmates they look at somebody or at that moment they met it doesn't look like it doesn't have for example it doesn't look like it doesn't have money or the lady doesn't look so beautiful they judge according to minor things you know but up until you get so close that's where you realize this person is actually a good person you know they don't they are not as broke as they look if, if you some people think they want someone with uh who's financially stable so like the moment you get closer you will see those things the moment you get sometimes you can judge somebody because of the way they are dressed that day and they'll be like ah oh, no this doesn't look like a christian no but and then they end up not uh, entertaining that person or at least giving that person person some attention and they miss out some they end up thinking that nah no this person looks boring there's an, you know all those things and then all to find that is a very good person that person is even a deep christian more than how you even imagine or you even thought so this is how god always speaks and this is how god uh, comes through for people okay this is how it happens so many christians they miss out because they want to see everything as a package outside the cover of what they are looking for but they do not bother to first open up and see what is it's in store so what am i saying to you give everything a chance okay until you are so sure that you know what i've explored every area of this person i'm so confident that here 
there is no future it won't work out because some at times you get surprised that okay just because you gave it a shot you gave it some time a little bit you realize wow i would have missed out i never thought this could be the one for me okay so do not let the packaging of your soulmate confuse you do not judge someone because of how they are, they appear physically give them a chance okay just because at that moment they don't have money doesn't mean that tomorrow they don't have they won't have money okay doesn't mean if that person is well dressed that tomorrow that person won't be looking beautiful when they put on the right clothes i remember one minister once gave a, uh, an example he was like god will give you what you need not what you want it was like uh there was a woman who prayed asked him to pray that can you please pray for me so that i find uh my soulmate someone to marry me then the pastor was like uh this in fact he was giving a testimony about his spiritual father if not mistaken then the spiritual father was like okay i will pray for you after he prayed and the lady was like did you manage to pray what did god say and did he show you my soulmate that's what some people even ask then he was like yes indeed god did show me the the person for you and actually the person is in the same church as you she attended this very same church she was like oh wow really who is he then the man pointed at a certain man who was blind in one eye and the lady was like after realizing she was like no ways look at how beautiful i am me with that man no 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 so she refused and then the man of god was like oh okay because that's what god showed me that's the person whom god showed me so but then uh what will shock you is that she ended up being married to someone else but then that someone else died it didn't they didn't last so long he ended up dying and she ended up being a widow you know so god actually gives you what you need and not what you want okay so she judged by the packaging that this man is blind in one eye no ways no ways but that person was meant for her okay and that's why i also want to pray because i know the enemy of your progress your breakthrough always comes to confuse you that's why i pray it doesn't mean if we ignore that there is the enemy there is satan he's gonna stop bothering us the fact that there is this force of gravity whether you believe it or not it doesn't mean that um if you are to put yourself on top of a building and throw yourself you won't come down the force of gravity says anything that goes up must come down okay so whether you believe it or not you will go down if you you, you jump up from a building you will end up going down what that's the force of gravity so even when it comes to the enemy the devil whether you believe the devil does interfere we don't have if you don't say anything like then i when we say things we are praising him so if you keep quiet yes he won't do anything whether you believe in that or not there is always one reality the devil when is responsible to 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 cause confusions and interfere in your marital life or any other area of your life he will do so he doesn't care what you think okay that is why i pray for anyone who wants to pray that in the name of jesus christ may the enemy never confuse you may you not become uh, against your marital breakthrough may you not confuse you may you not make you miss out but may you miss may you get to catch the right person for you in the name of jesus christ i rebuke the hand of the enemy from coming against your marital breakthrough in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you father thank you lord you will surely testify i will be waiting for your testimonies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord amen hallelujah remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time i upload new videos like this okay if you had not subscribed into this channel of course and like and share today's video if you enjoyed it and would like to share this message with others as well as dm me or email me for prayer requests okay the details are in the description of the video below and as for me ishmael and your priest i will see you in the next video upload take care and stay blessed